want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, Judson here. Welcome back to Dinner and a Movie. This month we're looking at this weekend's release of the new Fantastic Four. This month, more than any other month, we played around a lot with what we wanted to make, but we finally settled on homemade mac and cheese with four different fantastic cheeses. Here's what you need. We modeled the cheeses that we used after the team members of the Fantastic Four. So for the Human Torch, we have Pepper Jack. This is easily the most boring one because it makes the most sense. For Sue Storm, we used Swiss because there are holes in it and you can see through it. We went with Blue Cheese for the Thing because it comes in crumbles and it looks like rocks, and it's very strong. And for Mr. Fantastic himself, we went with Mozzarella because it is famous for its elasticity. This whole recipe doesn't take long to make, so the first thing you need to do is get your pasta in some boiling water, because by the time your noodles finish cooking, you should be done with everything else. We also need to do some prep work by shredding the pepper jack, swiss, and mozzarella cheeses if you didn't buy them pre-shredded. In order to make the cheese sauce, we first make something called a roux, which is a mixture of flour and butter. So, melt your butter in a pan, then, add in enough flour so you have equal parts butter to flour. Mix this up until the butter and flour are incorporated together. Keep stirring as you start to add in your milk. The amount of milk you use will depend on how many people you want to feed. For reference, the dish we made in this video fed six people. Once the milk thickens up, you add in the shredded pepper jack and Swiss cheeses. We'll get to the other two in a minute, but keep stirring until this starts to resemble something that is going to stop your heart. Around this time, your pasta should be done cooking. So take that out, strain it, and put it right back into the pot. Then pour your cheese sauce we just made over the top of that and mix it together. If you want, this is good to eat right now as it is. But we took it a few steps further. We put the entire mixture into a baking dish. Then we topped it with our other two cheeses. So we gave it a healthy sprinkling of blue cheese. Then we covered the entire thing with our shredded mozzarella. And as a final touch, we gave the entire thing a crust of corn flakes to give it some crunch. Then we popped the whole thing in the oven at 425 degrees for just a few minutes, just until we saw the top start to brown and the cheese melting. There's nothing to plating other than just spooning it onto a plate. And now you and your friends can dig in. 